Jambo, Salam Alaikum, Namaste, Sasrika, welcome again to Omijan's Kitchen. I was thinking of making some chickpea hummus today. I prefer to soak my own chickpeas, so dry chickpeas, soak them, but I was a little bit late soaking them. I thought about it this morning. So normally give it a minimum, at least of three to four hours, better still six hours. I don't know if you can see this far here. I'm going to try and lift this up. It's not uh, terribly puffed up. They're still a little bit tight. You can see a few wrinkles in there. If they're completely puffed up, they'll be nice and wide and clear. So definitely confirm that soak the longer the better because they're dried chickpeas. So uh, basically this is two cups of chickpeas. I'm just gonna chuck it in here. I try to put just enough water to cover the chickpeas. Then that way I can use the water to blend the chickpeas. I always like to salt my chickpeas before they boil. So why I like to do that is uh, maybe about a teaspoon. So just sprinkle that in there and then when we come back we'll, I will cook them for half an hour. The bigger the chickpeas the tastier the hummus. So right now I'm going to put this in in the <laughs> instant pot for half an hour. Let's cook this and come back. We just talked about the dry chickpeas when we first started and now uh, as I was saying earlier I did rush them today so this is not the, my best result. I would like them puffier so if you can I think definitely go for the overnight soak. It should really just melt in your mouth and that's the best hummus. There's a little bit of broth here. I'm gonna keep that as I need it to, to blend that. You know, just enough liquid to make that movement happen for the blender. Now let's talk ingredients. We know all about chickpeas. I prefer to have more salt. Uh, lemon, I prefer to use store-bought lemon juice. Then as you all know, we use tahini and that's sesame paste. And then we have garlic. Now I'm going to do a variation and that's why my other two pots come in. The variation is we'll do the plain regular hummus with all the ingredients we just mentioned and then I'm going to at the very end take some out and make cilantro lemon chili hummus and I've got uh, I did the sun-dried tomatoes a couple of days ago in the oven chickpeas so you can see our two cups almost gave us six cups because really that's already two cups almost in there. I have, uh, I would like more tahini, but unfortunately this is all I have. So today I'm just gonna divide this in three ways. Putting the chickpea into the ninja blender and I'm blending it right now. Smash it. It's a little bit grainy, but not too, too bad. Like I said, my chickpeas were not boiled right. So I'm gonna put a little more broth, but not too much because now I have another little trick here I learned and that gives it the hummus that really nice smooth smooth taste i'm going to give this one more quick blend so you can see it's quite nice quite smooth this is the trick i'm going to do now a couple of ice cubes one and a couple of bits here so just throw them in there and it just makes everything amalgamate nicely makes it the whole thing smoother and it'll run better too okay so you can see the difference now. It's much, much, much smoother the way it drops down. A little bit more like icing sugar now. So there we are. So this is just the plain hummus. You can see how beautiful it just pours out. So once you get it to this stage, season as you like. So obviously the olive oil would come in now. And I love this seasoning. I'm sure I've introduced you to it before. The first thing we're gonna do is give it a nice little spot in the middle, make a little well. Pour some olive oil in there and then the person eating or when you are ready to eat that's when you basically mix the oil in and this seasoning it's digestive it's got a lemony chili and salty taste and there so that's your just regular hummus with a little bit of tagine and olive oil just floating in there now we have so we'll just go back park this here the tahini in here again so this is basically, I'm sure I've introduced you to it before. It's cilantro, lemon, chili. So I'm going to dump all that in there. Add a little bit more chickpeas. Now don't put the ice in right away. Wait for it to start to blend a little bit, almost completely finish. Have it at the point where you really want it. Then the ice is just to give it that finished smoothness. 
So this is basically the cilantro one. You can see it came beautiful. And now let's do those ice cubes. So see, wait till it gets to this stage before you put in your ice cubes. Blend it again. That came really good. And it's again, just like icing for a cake. So that's our cilantro one. The taste is really nice. You can taste the cilantro. Get that all jug out. I obviously make variations. Uh, I'm just gonna keep using this. For the third one, I'm not gonna fuss because I don't want that much hummus. So I'm gonna continue with this one with the cilantro taste to it. But let's just be creative and add. Now these are the sun-dried tomatoes that I did in the oven the other day. So I'm just gonna chop them in, chuck them in there. That little bit of garlic that was left. And a little bit of tahini that was left. Use it all up. I might add a little more chickpea because I think that's a little too much tahini. Add a few more chickpeas. Back to our broth again. Let's add the lemon. So this is gonna be blended and then let's look at that. Oh my goodness, I tasted this, it's delicious. Here's the last one, a little bit more runnier. I think the tomatoes obviously had still a little bit of water in it, but that's okay. Creamy, lovely. Bees are still left. I just put them in a bag like that. I'm gonna tip it right in there and in it goes in the freezer. Yeah, next time I want to make hummus, I just go and grab it. There's really no limit to what you can do. It's your imagination that makes the decision of how you want to enjoy it. So regular hummus, cilantro lemon hummus, and sun-dried tomato hummus. But thank you very much again for joining me on Ami Jan's Kitchen. Please uh, like and subscribe. So please enjoy. Thank you very much for joining me and namaste.